Here's a short tour of my mini house. Um, this is the entranceway. I still have a um, camper door, which I will hopefully change maybe this spring, this summer. Um, so this is the, the entranceway that I've kind of converted into a um, a mudroom, so to speak. There was originally three bunks in here. This was a bunk room, a bedroom. So that top shelf was a bed. This shelf that now has my uh, dead herbs on <laughs> that didn't survive the winter um, was a bunk. And then there was a third bunk down the bottom here, um, which I've removed. I just took the pads off of these two top top ones to use them as storage because, you know, a place this small, I'll take all the storage space I can get. So, yeah, so the bottom bunk went across from here where this bench is and then under under there, which I now use as storage. Got my laundry basket, hot water tank, dog food, tools, stuff like that in there. Um, managed to find a bench that fit perfectly in that little nook so that folks can sit down to take on, uh, to take off, put on their shoes, etc. Um, so, so yeah, so this was a little room, a little bedroom. Um, you can see that it's that tacky, um, 90s style wall, vinyl wall, Lewin board under there. I do plan on painting, I do plan on painting the, uh, that surface eventually. I'm not sure which colors yet. I do have some nice green paint. I've put some um, I've put some it's kind of like a wallpaper but not uh, on the bottom parts under the molding throughout most of the um, camper. It just freshens it up a bit. So there's still um, there's still, of course, lots of little things to do, a couple of big things, but basically this is my living space. So if you saw, the fridge is a, you know, it's a full-size fridge, so that's very good. Came with, came with the camper. The uh, small, small hallway to get into the uh, main living area, but Lots of storage space, which was impressive for such a small unit. Um, I'm able to store. I'm able to store all of my jackets, coats, um, etc. In there. I don't know if you saw that. Pretty big uh, closet there as well. Um, that I use for supplies, extra supplies, bags, etc. Um, uh, yeah, there's little things still to do. It's a work in progress, what can I say? Pretty big pantry that I'm able to store lots of stuff in. The breaker box is down below there. Um, so, bathroom is in here beyond this wall. Um, small, but, you know, adequate. There's a shower in there. And then, uh, so here, this is a pop-out. I've got, um, got a small table in here that I managed to squeeze in. And this used to be my TV unit, entertainment unit, TV stand, that I've, you know, that I'm now using as a workspace, a cooking area, um, you know, making the best with 
with the small space that I have. Um, nice little chill area. This couch, actually it's a futon that um, folds down flat uh, so that when my kids and granddaughter come, they have a nice big uh, comfy surface to sleep on. There's Rosita. Hey, Rosie. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's not, nothing is completely finished, but, um, but it's getting there. So, uh, this is my main entrance, you know, in the spring, summer, fall months. It's just during the winter. Oh, how appropriate. The little red squirrel showed up for some screen time. Where did he go? And I left my lawn furniture out all winter. Not recommended. There he is. Will he come up on the deck? So it's snowing. Uh, raining, then snowing. It's mixed precipitation today. Uh, it's not supposed to last. A lot of the snow has melted. I've got major water around the uh, driveway that I pull up to my place in, on, so it's a little sketchy out there. But anyway, so this is the the um, the doorway that I use, except in the winter time, and now also because I've pulled the deck away from the house uh, in order to work around the outside of the house the uh, siding needs to still go up so that's um, that's a long term well it'll be done this year but it's an, it's been ongoing and it just kinda had to get put on hold for the for winter that came quick here uh, snow came early cold and snow came early and everything just kinda halted so uh, there's a bunch of things that I didn't, as you can tell, manage to finish before winter hit hard. So hoping for a break real soon so that I can get back to it. So here I've got, um, you know, as many little uh, things that I can, f as I can fit in here to make it cozy, at the same time functional. I do have TV, no satellite, no cable. I plug into a an antenna, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, for now, I've got Rosie's um, carrier there, and the stove. So all of the appliances um, came with the unit, which was, you know, a bonus. And this is a propane stove that I've not yet um, hooked up. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, living minimally. But look, look at all these great sized cupboards. And I will eventually do something, probably, with um, the wood. I've changed a lot of little things just to, to take away the tacky factor, like the, the, the handles. I've put some black ones on there they were um, they were that tacky gold the light fixtures I've changed for those so oh, those are my parents circa mid 1950s in in the Laurentian mountains of Quebec um, but yeah lots of little things to uh, to do those plates I just happened to see on the side of the road for sale in a box um, at a yard sale in uh, in the Laurentians and um, I liked them I liked mainly that they are from the province that I'm from and of the year that I was born so that's cool yeah, that says it all right there, doesn't it? Less house, more home. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's still lots of, you know, tweaking to do. 
Um, so like I said, yeah, talking about the stove before, this is where I, you know, I, I, I really keep it to a bare minimum for now. I've got a little toaster oven that's very handy, a two burner stove top, super handy. Lots of windows though, uh, which was e essential for me. I, I really did not want to feel trapped in a can. Um, so that's huge. Like if I stand back, you'll see how, even though it's not a sunny day, you'll see how bright it really is in here. If I stand back here, um, you know, it's tiny. You know, little things, little things made a big difference. Like I changed quite a few things up. Putting these curtains down here where the bunk used to be just to hide my my um, hot water tank, etc. Just kind of pretties it up. Um, changed this upholstery, but that's just really part of the hem of this curtain because um, that was kind of tacky as well. Little things like that really made a difference. Um, uh, I've actually done quite a bit of little things, you know, just to make it my own. So, what else did I want to show you? So, more storage up there. This is the pop-out. That's a pop-out, and there's a pop-out in my bedroom, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, so those are the slide-outs. Pop-outs, slide-outs. This, um, this little heater unit has come in really handy. I have another different type as well that got me through the winter until I hook up the propane furnace. This is movable, which is really super handy. Um, this is the the bedroom, so, you know, small but adequate. I've got all of my, um, you know, my little essentials in here. A little storage cubby up in there. Um, big closet. So the closet and the cubby here is also, let me back up so you can see it, is the slide out. And then under it, um, that wood panel there, it, I can remove that. It wasn't intended to be removed or used as storage, but I've, I checked it out from the outside when we were putting the insulation up, and it's a great uh, storage space for whatever, shoes, um, whatever. It runs the, uh, it goes the depth of, the depth of the slide out, which, um, you know, it's extra space. That entire, that entire, um, shelf, I guess you'd call it, uh, under the windows there is also those uh, those doors on the top of it open and that's also a storage a big open space in there for extra blankets whatever so that's handy um, yeah the windows need to be cleaned the place is not you know impeccable right now but what are you gonna do um, don't look at the dust <laughs> but yeah so that's that's how it looks. I like the fact it's a park model, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't um, have that um, typical camper shape in the end. It's nice and, you know, high all the way throughout, and um, it's just, um, it was a deal. It was a, it was a heck of a deal. I got it for 3500 and I'm slowly transforming it into, yeah, the windows are filthy, um, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so if I stand at the, at this end of the unit, you'll get an idea. Uh, that's the, um, that there is the, um, antenna that gives me right now three channels because of where I have it 
if I eventually install it on the exterior, on the roof, as it is uh, weatherproof, I can probably pick up a lot more local channels. Right now I'm getting, because it's facing direct south, and they must have an excellent signal, I'm actually getting uh, three channels out of the Adir Adirondacks, which is pretty far away, but it's picking them up, so uh, mountain lake, uh, three mountain lake channels, so that's that's okay. I don't watch TV, but it's there in case. Um, yeah, so so that's that. Got my little desk area there, which is handy. Yeah, so that's that infrared heater that works really, really well. And like I said, I can move it around and point it uh, whichever way I want to. I know I'm not supposed to have things on it, but I do. And um, and what else did I want to show you that's super cool about this unit? Oh yes, my plan uh, with the deck. So. I'm going to pressure wash it down um, as best I can, restain or paint it, attach it properly of course once the um, once the siding is up and uh, and I'm done with the exterior, I can position that. I'm going to drop it down to ground level, just put it on little small blocks instead of the way that it's precariously sitting right now and um, and have a step down to it from the uh, from the patio door here uh, and eventually I'd like to close it in so closing it in with you know um, what would be great is those two decks are eight by eight, so together they make uh, eight by sixteen. I would love to have a room that big. Just close the entire thing in, 